Hi, I'm Nathan Hort with Follow My Vote. In my previous video, I described our open source end-to-end -end verifiable online voting software, and I alluded to the fact that we can require voters to identify themselves so that we can be sure that they are unique and authorized to vote, but then allow them to cast their vote anonymously. In this video, I want to go into detail on our registration process, which allows us to fulfill that promise. At this point in the registration process, the voter has already created an account in our system and revealed his identity to an ID verifier who gives him an ID which is certified as unique and authorized to vote in this election. He also creates a blinded token, which is a random number that's been obscured so that it cannot be read directly. This is something akin to taking a token and sticking it into a carbon copy envelope so that a signature on the envelope will be imprinted onto the token inside. The voter then takes both of these and sends them to the registrar for verification. The registrar first checks to make sure that this is the first time that this certified identity has proceeded to this step in the registration process. And if so, he puts a signature onto the blinded token, which is like putting it onto the carbon copy envelope so that it imprints onto the token inside. After doing this, he returns the blinded signature and token to the voter. At this step, the voter will wait for some period of time during which many other voters proceed through the registration process to this point. Once a number of voters have done this, he then unblinds the token, which is like pulling it out of the envelope, and creates a brand new voter identity, which is in no way tied to his real identity. He then sends both of these to the registrar to finish the registration step. The registrar first checks to make sure that this is the first time that he's ever seen this unblinded token, and if so, then he signs off on the voter ID certifying it as unique and authorized to vote. He returns this to the voter, and in this way, the voter can register with our software to get a voting account that is unique and authorized to vote, but he can cast votes with this voting ID so that no one can determine the voter's true identity from his votes, including the registrar itself. Thank you for listening.